Hey, it's Jordan from Roadmonk. In this video, we'll be looking at one of Roadmonk's most useful collaborative features. With dependencies, you can create multiple relationships between items and roadmaps across your organization, allowing for better collaboration and strength in decision making. Dependencies allow you to link items by date and visualize them on your roadmaps, providing full visibility of item relationships and restrictions to your teams. First, let's get our terms straight. Blocking dependencies allow you to create a relationship where something must happen before or after a specific item. On the other hand, moves with dependencies let you create a relationship in which items are running in parallel. So as one item moves, other dependent items are moved by the same time period. Dependencies can easily be created right within the item card, as long as the item includes dates. Next to the dependencies label, click add, and then search for the item you want to make a dependency for. From the dependencies type dropdown, you can select the type of dependency relationship that you want to create. You can also create cross roadmap dependencies with an item on another roadmap by using the item search dropdown. For this example, we'll create a cross roadmap dependency for automated tests from an agile roadmap I've already created. Once you've created a dependency, there are three ways of visually presenting that a dependency relationship exists between items, either within the items table, a swim lane visualization, or a timeline visualization. First, for dependencies in the items table, circular icons are displayed beside the date of any item that has a dependency, showing the total number of dependencies that an item has. Next, in the timeline visualization, Dependencies are depicted with circular icons that show the total number of dependencies, including cross roadmap dependencies, that are linked to that item. To make dependency relationships easy to view at a glance, connecting lines will automatically appear when you hover over an item that has a dependency. Dotted lines depict a blocking dependency, while solid lines depict a moves with dependency. Finally, in the swim lane visualization, dependencies are once again represented with circular icons that show the total number of dependencies linked to that item. Just a quick note here that dependency lines are not supported in the swim lane view. Depending on your preferences, dependency visualizations can be toggled on and off at any time by checking or unchecking the show dependencies checkbox from the layout section of the format panel. This works in both swim lane and timeline views. So regardless of how you're using dependencies on your roadmaps, you can be sure they'll increase clarity for your team by helping everyone see the big picture, especially when it comes to which of your items are dependent across your roadmaps.